pressure meters and other in-situ testing equipment. Presented by, Louis Marcel, Eng. Rogtist Webinar April 2012. Presentation Overview. Introduction. 1. Pressure meters, PMT, 1.1 Description of the test. 1.2 Description of the equipment, types of pressure meters. 1.3 Main Applications 1.4 Advantages and Limitations 2. Other in-situ test equipment 2.1 Vein Testers 2.1 Cone Penetration Test Equipment, CPT Conclusion Rhomboidal Bend Pyramid, Egypt Introduction In-Situ Testing Proper characterization of mechanical properties of the ground onto which structures are to be built has a great importance. Pyramid Initial Slope Rhomboidal Bend Pyramid, Egypt Introduction in situ testing means for characterizing the ground. Laboratory Testing In situ testing Penetration Resistance Measurement, SPT, CPT In situ permeability tests Packer test, rising head test, strength and compressibility testing, T, vein testing, plate load tests, flat dilatometer, one pressure meters, T equals an in situ loading test executed by radial expansion of a cylindrical cavity. The stresses are exerted on the walls of a borehole by mean of a pressurized fluid acting on one inflatable membrane. 1.1 test description. Typical pressure meter curve 1.1 test description Typical pressure meter curve Progressive loading in steps Waiting period required at every step for stabilization before recording pressure and radial expansion Unload loading cycle Test duration, 10 minutes Standards, ASTM 4790-07 NFP 94-110-1, N underscore ISO underscore 22476-4. 1 1.1 Test Description General Testing Procedure Tests executed at various depths in the same borehole. Common spacings, 1 to 3 meters. Borehole cannot be done in one pass. Results are presented for each elevation giving general profile of the soil. 1.1 Test Description Pressure Meter Modulus, E. Limit Pressure, PL. Main Parameters Pressure Meter Modulus, E. Limit Pressure, PL. Where? R. Poisson's Ratio of the Soil Slash Rock. VM, the volume of the cavity at midpoint of the testing zone. The variation of volume of the cavity due to the variation of the applied pressure. 1.1 Test Description The making of the borehole equals critical to make successful tests. Borehole equals adequate if 1. Undisturbed soil 2. Borehole of proper diameter 3. Smooth wall borehole 1.1 Test Description Various drilling methods suggested in standards as per type of soils. Use of rotary drilling with axial injection, towards hole bottom, of mud is applicable in most cases. Slotted casing in large gravels soils. Ideally, roll a bit for silt, sand, and gravel. 2 and 7 eighths inches to 3 inches. 3 wing bit for clayey soils. Diameter of rods must be one or two sizes smaller than diameter of bit to allow good flow up of cuttings. Do not ram the bit up and down as this will result in an oversized hole. Popular method, 3 inch hollow auger for first portion of the borehole plus use of rotary bit in the testing zone only. Go slowly. Injection pressure, less than 500 kPa with borehole full of mud. Bit rotation. Less than 60 revolutions per minute. Flow, less than 15 liters per minute. Bit pressure, less than 200 kilopascals, 100 kilograms in a 76 millimeters borehole. Typical advance rate, 
15 to 25 centimeters slash minute. 1.2 The equipment various types of pressure meters. Pre-boring versus self-boring pressure meters. Volume variations versus direct radial strain measurements. Monocellular versus tricellular probes. Diameter of the probe, 33 mm to 95 mm. Type of loading, pneumatic versus hydraulic. Reading mode, manually versus automatically. Working capacity, 4000 kPa to 30000 kPa. Various sensitivities, 1.2 The equipment soil pressure meters, Texum pressure meter. Volumetric, hydraulic, monocellular probe. Monad pressure meter. Volumetric, pneumatic, tricellular probe. Trimmeds pressure meter. Radial expansion measurement. Hydraulic, monocellular probe. 1.2 The equipment rock pressure meters, model probe X. Capacity pressure, 30 plus 000 kilopascal. 3,500 pounds per square inch. Hydraulically loaded. Fiberglass reinforced polyurethane membrane. Capacity modulus, 0.01 to 30 gigapascals approximately. Testing depth to, date, 300 meters. 1.2 The equipment rock pressure meter, borehole dilatometer, modeled MP. Measures radial deformations by mean of 3 LVDT disposed at 120 degrees. Capacity pressure, 20 plus 000 kilopascal. For used in soft to moderately hard rock, maximum modulus of 50 gigapascals. 1.2 The equipment self-boring pressure meters. Interesting tool because minimizes remolding. Confined to soils with few gravels. Bormac pressure meter, volumetric, hydraulic, monocellular probe. 1.3 Main applications Shallow foundations Laterally loaded piles, vertically loaded piles, compaction control, design of pavement, of less use for slope stability problems and embankments. 1.3 Main applications. Semi-empirical methods versus methods based on the theory of elasticity. Semi-empirical method. 1. Bearing capacity equals kxpl. The factor of proportionality k is function to. Relative depth. Shape of the foundation. Type of ground. 1.3 main applications 2. Settlement. S is the settlement. Ref. Canadian Foundation Engineering Manual. S is the settlement. M is the pressure meter modulus. QA is the allowable bearing capacity. Lambda 2 and lambda 3 are the coefficients of shape of footing, LB. B is the width of the footing. Alpha P is a coefficient of structure, function to type of soils and E slash PL. 1.3 Main Applications. 3. Lateral deflection of laterally loaded structures. PY curve. Various methods. Robertson et al. Example. VGS reduction of rock pressure meter tests. Design PY curves. 54 inch diameter rock socket. Courtesy, Failmisger, in situ soil test in Virginia. 1.3 Main Applications Design of High-Rise Buildings Petronas Towers Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia AT&T Tower Chicago, USA 1.4 Advantages and Limitations Well-trained operator is required for ensuring Making a good borehole Taking care not to burst too many membranes Soils with large gravels are difficult to test. A slotted casing might be required. 1.4 Advantages and Limitations Versatile, can be performed in most types of soils and soft rocks. Gives an in-situ stress-strain curve. The loading sequence can be adapted according to the application, lung or rapid loading, cyclic loading. Close analogy with laterally loaded piles. 
validity of the test can be controlled from the shape of the curve. 2. Are there in-situ testing equipment? Various types of in-situ tests can be performed. Penetration test, SPT, CPT, vein test, plate loading test, flat dilatometer test, packer test, compaction control test, etc. 2.1 Vein Shear Tester for Cohesive Soils Only Test Description Quick and easy. Used either for designing of shallow or deep foundations. Recording sheets from the model M1000 Vein Tester. 2.1 Vein Shear Tester SU equals K as AF XC Where SU equals the undrained shear strength in KG slash SM2 C equals vein form constant in 10 to 2x sum 3. K equals calibration constant for the torque recording head in kgm sum. As equals distance in sum between the zero torque reference line to the peak of the curve. AF equals distance in sum between the zero torque reference line and the circular arc scribed during the first 15 degrees of rotation, corresponds to rod friction. Recording sheets from the model M1000 vein tester. 2.2 Cone Penetration Test Dynamic Cone Penetration Test Procedure, record number of blow counts required for trusting a conical point into the ground. Size and shape of the point, weight, and the mass falling distance are standardized. Used for soil classification and for compaction control. Model PEM1 Cone Dynamic Penetrometer 2.2 Cone Penetration Test 2143 Static Cone Penetration Test, CPT The most common penetration test Pushed into the ground Recording of, tip resistance, friction resistance, pore pressure and others Models Hand Sounding Cone Penetrometer, 1 Mechanical Cone, 2 Mechanical Friction Cone 3. Electric cones, 4. 2. 1. 4. 3. 2.2 2 Cone Penetration Test Static Cone Penetration Test, CPT. Interpretation and Use of Results Soil classifications using cone and friction resistance. Determination of various parameters from empirical correlations, for instance, Stiffness and relative density in cohesionless soils. Undrained shear strength in cohesive soils. Conclusion Rocktest has specialized in pressure meters. Pumpty not a routine testing method. Required well-trained operator. Special attention must be given for the making of the borehole. PM proves to be a useful tool for applications. 1 such as for the laterally loaded foundations, and high-rise buildings. 2. Where undisturbed samples cannot be obtained, and where other conventional tests cannot be done, rock and weakly cemented material. 3. On large projects where it is justified to put efforts to get better information on the soil slash rock. 